Today we're going to be taking a look at the September 2018 Art Snacks box and I hope you're excited because as usual, I am. If you don't know what Art Snacks box is, I will have a little like description of it in the description below so you can go check it out. Pretty much, it's like Christmas. If you're an artist, every month you get art supplies sent to you. I think it's like four to six items. And what's not to love about getting art stuff sent to you? Usually it's pens, pencils, markers, paints, etc. They don't usually add too much paper just because of the weird size of the box. But, you know, sometimes they throw in some sample paper. But anyway, uh, without further ado, let's just slice open this box and find out what the heck is inside. Okay, we have some really cool stuff on top, but first, I'm going to take out the snacks part of Art Snacks. It is a Crybaby Gumball. I love Crybaby Gumballs. I'm very, very excited about this one. Then we've got the Art Snacks sticker, which holy heck is awesome. It's got the cutest little pattern. I'm so happy I actually got a sticker this month. Uh, I don't know if you saw last one's box, but they kind of forgot to slip mine in there, but that is okay. Then we've got the little menu card, and I'm going to set that to the side because I like to be surprised when I open these boxes, but I'm going to reference it as we go. So first off, we have like a million of these things. I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to set the box up. So they're zebra sensations. Hey, they're zebra pins. I always wanted to try one. Okay, they have different types. So this blue one is a super fine tip. This uh, black one, I think, is a medium tip. And this uh, gray one is a fine tip. They are all brush pins from what the packaging says. Um, and they are all black even though the pin color, like barrel, is different. So these are new to Art Snacks, the Zebra Sensations brush pins, retail $2.50 each. This is $7.50 of retail value right here. Uh, again, they're new to Art Snacks. From super fine lines to big bold strokes, Zebra Sensations brush pens offer incredible versatility. Achieve diverse lettering or illustration styles with three different pens included in this month's box. And as we mentioned, it is the super fine, the fine, and the medium tip. They feature a permanent water-resistant pigment ink that delivers deep and rich black color. The flexible brush nibs have excellent bounce and deliver consistent ink flow, responding to changes in pressure with ease. So I'm really excited to kind of play with these and add them to my arsenal. Next up that was in the box and not in the green tissue paper uh, is a little tube of M. Graham Artists watercolor in sap green. They've actually sent M. Graham paint before. I think last time I got like some rusty color, but this time we've got a sap green, so I'm really excited about that. This is a 15 milliliter tube. The M. Graham & Co. Artists watercolor retail $15.29. M. Graham & Co. Artists watercolor definitely hits the sweet spot. Not only is this paint made using honey to keep moisture intact in the tube and on the palette, it also contains high amount of pigment to provide intensely bright and rich color. It always dilutes easily with water even after months or years of disuse. So it's hard to believe this tiny tube is worth 15 bucks, but here we are. And then the last few items in the box are in this lovely green tissue paper. So we're going to get those out. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. So we have an I'm going to I'm going to butcher this, so I super duper apologize to anybody who speaks this language. This is an Albrecht Durer <laughs> uh, Magnus uh, pencil. It is by Faber-Castell um, and it is made in Germany. The Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer <laughs> Magnus watercolor pencil. Oh, it's a watercolor pencil. It is the staff favorite of the month. It is a pretty big deal with a 5.3 millimeter core. It is ideal for large scale drawing. The jumbo size is gentle on the wrist so you can use it for long periods of time without discomfort. This 100% water soluble pencil remains extremely vibrant, dry, or wet thanks to its high pigment density and maximum light fastness. When brushed with water, the pencil marks melt onto your paper and intensify in color. And then the last thing we've got is another paintbrush. I have a ton of paintbrushes from Art Snacks. This is a Princeton brush though, and I love me some Princeton brushes. This is a number zero, and we've got a round. Um, it is really teeny tiny. And I really can't see anything more because of this labeling, so we're just going to read about it real quick. 
So the Princeton Synthetic Sable Round Brush retail is $7, and this is an Art Snacks exclusive. Oh, nice. Fill in the details with this Princeton Synthetic Sable Round Brush. The color holding capacity and natural snap of this brush is enhanced by its perfect blend of golden tacklon and multiple diameters. Made to be used with watercolor, this brush will work flawlessly with your new Ingram paints. This month, we've included a smaller size in your box suitable for fine details and delicate lines. Alright, so here is everything that came in the box. Just to recap, we got the Princeton Synthetic Sable Round Brush in Zero. We got a Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencil in a huge, large, chunky size. We got an M. Graham & Co. Sap Green watercolor tube. We've got three Zebra Zensations brush pins in, in Super Fine, Fine, and Medium Tip. Lovely Art Snack sticker, Crybaby Gum, and then the little menu. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Now we're going to take these art supplies and we're actually going to create something with them. But first, if you get the Art Snacks box, leave a comment down below and let me know any color variations you might have gotten. As far as I know, these pens um, obviously are all the same color, but if you got a different color of the Albrecht Durer pencil or the M. Graham & Co. watercolor, let me know. I would love to hear about it. Also, if you've created anything, I would absolutely love to see it. Use the hashtag Swiddling with Katie so I can see it. Um, and yeah, so now, without further ado, let us get over and, uh, you know, get to making some art, yo. Alright, so the whole entire retail value of this box is $33.78, and honestly, that is a great value. Even if you paid the extra $10 for shipping, you still got your money's worth. Um, so I think that's really awesome, and I'm just really glad that, you know, they've been stepping up their game lately. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the art and then we're going to go on to talking about the products. So I am doing a Medusa-esque themed drawing. Um, this month for all of my Patreon prints, I am doing a Mythical Creatures theme. Um, one of my patrons has the ability to choose the theme for the month and so they chose that one. And I thought that was a fun little twist on, you know, some stuff I do. And I thought Medusa would fit the color scheme I got pretty well. I was going to do a dragon, but... I don't know. Medusa just seemed more fun, to be honest. <laughs> um, but anyway, so in, in all my colors, I got black and green. So I really was pretty limited in what I, you know, could create with. But I think I turned it out pretty okay. Um, anyway, back to the Patreon thing. If you're interested in this as a print or just any other rewards that I'm going to be offering over on my Patreon, like free coloring contests every month, an art raffle, um print sent to you, buttons, stickers, etc. There is a link on the screen if you want to go check it out and support the channel and all that good stuff. I would really appreciate it. So back to regular programming. <laughs> Let's talk about these products. So I think my favorite products in the box were the Zebra and Zensations brush pins. I really love this type of brush pin where you get a lot of control, but you can still vary the line width and honestly. Um, I love that kind of control, so these were super great, especially because of the fact that they're waterproof. Um, and I also really like the watercolor. I've tried M. Graham watercolors before, and they are really nice. Um, I'm not super jazzed about the color. I don't tend to use sap green too much in my art, but hey, maybe that's like a sign or something. Um, you know, the Princeton Synthetic Sable Brush was a paintbrush. I don't know. I didn't feel like it held too much water, maybe because of the small size. I felt like I was always dipping back into the water or into the paint, so I got a little frustrated with that. And I do really like Princeton brushes, so this was a little bit of a letdown, but I also don't use tiny, tiny brushes because I like to paint, like super washy and stuff, um, and this doesn't really give me the capability of doing that, but I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that like this size of brush, so I'm not like completely knocking it. It's a nice brush, it's just not for me. And the last thing to talk about is the Albrecht Durer. I'm sorry if I butchered that, um, watercolor pencil. You know, it's not my favorite. Um, I... I don't know. I It wasn't bad, but it wasn't my favorite. And I found the best application, f like, for me to get the paint onto the paper was to get a paintbrush wet and wet the tip of the, um, the pencil. So, yeah, and then paint it to paper. So that's how I decided to paint with it. Um, some people, I assume, would, like, scribble with it and then get it wet. I don't know. I just didn't like the texture that it left behind. Um... 
but that's just me again. It was a nice pencil, but certainly not my favorite. So for me, this box was pretty okay. I really liked most of the items in the box. Uh, a couple of them are a big miss for me, but you're not going to please everybody when you make a box like this. So it's not like it's a big deal. And I'll use everything in here, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. But so I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you got to this part in the video, <laughs> thank you so much. I know it was kind of long, so I apologize for that. But anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to thumbs up. Also, if you aren't already a part of our cute squid pod, there is a subscribe button down below and there's this bell button next to it that if you click that, you get notified on when I upload new videos. Also, I have social media links down below and I also have a link to my art store if you want to check that out and buy things and support the channel and all that good stuff. So yeah, uh, anyway, thanks for watching again. As always, I love you all so incredibly much and until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!